In this video tutorial, we will explain it to you that how you can build the heat map, mosaic plot, and stack bar chart for the two categorical variables. As we have explained it to you earlier that these plots will help you to see the interaction of the two different categorical variables very easily. So let's build them. To build all of these three different type of the plots, the first thing is that you need to build the contingency table. So let's build the contingency table of the two categorical variables of our data set. In this video tutorial, we are going to create a one variable that will hold our contingency table. And let's name it as quant underscore table. After typing the name of this variable, we will give this sign of equality and we will use a function table to create the contingency table. After typing the table, we are now going to define the two different categorical variables in which we are interested. Let's say that right now we are interested in a sex and the exercise frequency. So what we will do to define these two different categorical variables, first we will type the name of the variable that is holding our whole data. And as you know that, the name of that variable is a data. After typing the data, we will give the dollar sign. After giving the dollar sign, we are going to select our first variable in which we are interested and that is sex. After it, we will give a comma and after giving the comma, once again we will type the name of the variable that is holding our whole data set and that is a data. After typing the data, we will give the dollar sign and we will select our second categorical variable in which we are interested. And we are interested in exercise frequency, so we will select the exercise frequency. After typing this piece of code, we will come out of the parenthesis and we will run this piece of code. When we will run this piece of code, then our contingency table will be stored in count underscore table variable. Now this is time to use this variable to build the different type of the visualizations. So let's first build the heat map. To build the heat map, we are going to use a function heat map. After typing the heat map, we will give the parenthesis and within the parenthesis, we are going to type the name of the variable that is holding the contingency table. And the name of the variable is quant underscore table. After typing this name of variable, let's run this piece of code. And when you will run this piece of code, then after a few moments, the heat map will appear in front of you. We hope so that now this will be very easy for you to build the heat map of the different categorical variables by yourself in R. After building the heat map, now let's build the mosaic plot. To build the mosaic plot, we are going to use a function mosaic plot. After typing the mosaic plot, we will give the parenthesis and within the parenthesis, we will provide the name of the variable that is holding the contingency table. After typing the name of the variable, we will come out of the parenthesis and we will run this piece of code. When we will run this piece of code, then after a few moments, the mosaic plot will appear in front of you as you can see it here. After building the mosaic plot, let's build the stack bar plot. To build the stack bar plot, once again, we are going to use the bar plot function. But this time, rather than providing the frequency table, we are going to provide the contingency table. Now, we hope so that now you will have a good idea about the differences between the contingency table and the frequency table. So let's type the bar plot. And after typing the bar plot, we will give the parenthesis. And after giving the parenthesis, we will type the name of the variable that is holding the contingency table. After typing this piece of code, let's run it. And then you will run it, then the stack bar plot will appear in front of you in R. This is pretty easy, isn't it? We hope so that now you will have a good idea that how you can build these visualizations by yourself. We hope so that up to this point, this course will be very valuable for you. But please stay with us. There is a lot to come. These visualizations are not very statically good. In the next video tutorial, we will explain you a one of the very important library of R, and that is a ggplot. And by using ggplot, you can build a very beautiful visualizations. So please stay with us.